Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, June 6, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Today, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading lower by, well, I should say they're trading flat on the day to 28.28 per contract. They were higher a little while ago. They have started to come down. Again, uh, there's a lot going on out here. We did have the initial jobless claims. I don't think that's the big mover here. Uh, what I do think is that uh, Mario Draghi in Europe is speaking. It looks like they expanded their quantitative easing program out till 2020. They were supposed to cut it in 2019, but they just simply cannot. So again, uh, we are seeing the futures down tick a little bit, but they're at the flat line. We'll look at it a little bit later, but it's going to be an interesting session to see how this all plays out. In the meantime, the markets have been having a pretty good rally over the last couple of days. We still have lots of stocks in the news, so let's get started here. We're going to start the day off with ticker symbol SJM. That's Jam Schmucker. Stock right now is trading at 125 and a quarter. Closed at 125 and a quarter. So I don't think there's a whole lot to do at the moment. We'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. Looks like the stock did pretty well, so we'll have to see how it reacts. But this will be in play today. Next up, we want to take a look at Sienna. Those of you that traded in the 90s know this company. Stock right now is on fire, trading at $41.80. It closed at $35.88. I'm going to have gap level ready to go for Sienna. We are getting up there, but a great move for the stock nonetheless. Next up, we have Stitch Fix. This is making a huge move today. Ticker symbol is SFIX. Stock right now is trading at $29.63. Did briefly trade above $32 this morning when I looked at it. And um, what you're going to see here is that it closed yesterday at $23.57. So that's a tremendous pop for Stitch Fix. Again, I, when I look at this stock right off the bat, I have to think we are getting up to or so, towards some real good resistance levels. I'll have levels posted up in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 o'clock. Let's take a look at MongoDB. MDB is the ticker symbol here. Stock has been all over the map. Yesterday it free-falled all the way down below 138. Now it's back to 146. Closed at 148.59. Talk about a wild ride. Stock right now is nothing to do yet, but we will be watching this one once the opening bell rings. I am looking at this thing. If it does come back down, um, probably at around the 124.50 level. So keep that on the radar today. Let's take a look at Michael Stores. M-I-K is the ticker symbol here. Stock closed yesterday at 9.35, now trading at $8.10. There's really not a lot I would do here. I do think there's probably some support around the $7.90 to $8 area, but it's just not good enough. Stock right now is really not giving us enough information. Let's take a look at another one here. F-I-V-E is the ticker symbol here. Uh, stock is five below. Uh, this stock right now trading at 126.10, closed at 123.05. This, I believe, is on the back of earnings. Good little pop up, good little uptick pop. I don't know if there's a lot I would do with it at the moment, though. We will look at it once the opening bell rings, see if it gives us some levels or setups. Next up, we want to take a look at CLDR. This is Cloudera. And what you're going to see here is that Stock closed out yesterday at $8.80, now trading at $5.35. Ouch, that is ugly. There's nothing I'm looking to do here with this name at this point in time. Let's take a look at LZB, which is Lazy Boy. Uh, this stock right now is trading at $31.83. When I look at this name, this is definitely not a pretty picture. There is a lot of support, though, still around the 31 level for the stock. So we'll have to look at how it gets in there if it does fall further. But uh, overall, when I look at this name, um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of strength. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings in a little while. Next up, we have HOME uh, in play today. Stock is trading at 11.05, closed at $17.51. This is kind of a new issue when you just take a look at, uh, say, a monthly chart. You'll see this has only been around since uh, August of 2016. So we don't have a whole lot of data, but that is one ugly move today. Closed at 17.51, now trading at 11 bucks. So I kind of just have to stay away from it. If you're aggressive, you could try the $10 even number level, maybe even a $10 pierce, but it's still a tough trade uh, when a stock falls this much. Let's take a look at one more here. Signet Jewelers, 
SIG is the ticker symbol here. Stock closed at 19.42. It's trading at $19.17. It's chopped around a little bit here in the pre-market. They reported earnings. Again, I don't know if the numbers were good, bad, sad, or mad. Uh, either way, stock is not really uh, down all that much from the close, but we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. Gold futures getting a pretty nice pop today. They're up $8. Close, uh, trading right now at $1,341.40 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, which is a good ETF to track gold, see that's trading at 126.22. This closed at 125.45 yesterday. Next up, we have crude oil getting a bid today. Crude has been under big time pressure recently. Right now, trading higher by 32 cents to $52 a barrel. If you look at the USO, which is a good ETF to track the movement in crude oil, you'll see that's trading at $10 and 83 cents closed at 1076 so there you have it once again if you have not done so come on over take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room we're having a blockbuster 2019 we're gonna look to keep that going to the end of the year we got lots of moving parts out here lots of volatility this is an excellent excellent trading environment with that being said everybody have a great trading day and we'll see you a little bit later on the charts